Hey YouTube, Estacado5000 here. What's up? Here's another retro deck profile. It's called Kitty Synchro. So here we go. We got one Dark Arm Dragon. We got one Gores. Then you got one Cyber Dragon for the Commander Tech Fortress Dragon. Then you got the Rescue Cat Engine, two Rescue Cat, three X Saber Arabellum. Then you got one this Koala and one Neo Spatial Dark Panther. Um, Rescue Cat's pretty cool because what well, this could also be searched out through Summer Monks Effect. So it's pretty awesome. And Arabellum, it's pretty good, cool with the uh, Gravekeeper Spy. Or if you have this in your hand after you special Cyber, Dr Cyber Dragon, you can go into a level 8 just like that. It's pretty crazy. Then you got the free Gravekeeper Spy and then the one Gravekeeper's Guard. Um, this is here because you have Arcanite Magician. Because Arcanite Magician's summoning requirements are you need one tuner and one or more non-spell caster type monsters that equal level 7 to summon it. So it's pretty cool. Then you got one Gale the Whirlwind. Then you got two Mystic Tomato, two Summon a Monk. Um, you can special summon one level four monster from your deck to the field by discarding one spell card from your hand. And when this is summoned, you can switch this into defense position. And this card cannot be tributed at all. So it's pretty cool. Then you got um, one Sangin. Then um, you got this card right here, which allows you to pay 1,500 life points to select one monster in your opponent's graveyard and summon it to your side of the field. Then you got one Ghost Sarcophagus, then you got two Pot of Avarice, then you got one Mind Control, one Brain Control. These are used to steal your opponent's monsters for Synchro material. Then you got Free Book of Moon. Then you got two Cold Wave to freeze your opponent's Spell and Trap cards until their next turn. Then you got Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Giant True Nade. Then Lion Vortex, Monster Reborn, and Smashing Ground. Now for the Trap cards, you got two Bombless Trap Hole, two Fret and Roar, one Mirror Force, one Trental Tribute, one Crush Card Virus, and one Trap Dust Shoot. Now for the um, Synchro Monsters, you got one Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. That's why that's one of the reasons why Cyber Dragon's in the build, in case you go up against Gadgets. Then you got one Magical Android, one Goyo Guardian, one Gaia Knight. Then you got the two Arcanine Magicians, two Dark Strike Fighter, and then two Black Rose Dragon, and one Black Wing Armor Master, because you got Gale in this build. Um... What this card does is when this is when this is summoned, you get to place two spell counters on this card and it gains 1,000 attack for each spell counter on it. Then you can remove basically up to both of them to destroy up to two cards your opponent controls. So so this gains two counters, and for each counter you remove from this card, you can destroy one card your opponent controls. This allows you to tribute a monster on your field to inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the to the level of their monster of the monster you tributed times 200 or if your opponent has less than 1400 light points you contribute this card itself your opponent will lose the game right then and there this destroys everything on the field when it's synchro summoned which is optional and this monster effect is when it, it can't be destroyed in battle you take no battle damage and every time it attacks one of your opponent's monsters you can put like a counter on it and then you can remove that counter that monster's attack points become zero then you got one Stardust Dragon, one Fought Rule Archmane, one Red Dragon Archmane, and then one Colossal Fighter. So that's the build. Hope you all enjoy. More videos coming soon. Later, guys.